Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to manifest things in your life easier and to actually obtain the things that you want in the short term and in the long run. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And we're gonna get into kind of the basics of why things are the way they are in your life, how to change them in the present, how to change them in the future, and how to ultimately create the life you truly desire. Okay, so the thing is, is that everything in your current life is a past manifestation, whether you believe it or not. Like if you don't believe in manifestation, I mean, this probably isn't the video for you, but it's always working. So everything in your life today is a manifestation from your beliefs, from your thoughts, and everything else that's in your mind from the past. So you kind of want to think of your present moment as almost like a, like a lag from everything you were thinking before. So to change your future circumstances, you have to change your beliefs and your thought systems now in the present. And it's not something that's done in an instant. It's not something that's done in one day. It's a continuous thing. That's why a lot of people's manifestations don't work out because they give up before they see things that are coming into their life because they have to rewire and rework their belief system and their thought system and the way they're viewing things. And I know that can be kind of hard if you're new to this or if you're just not, if it's just not clicking with you and you're not seeing the things in your present life. So what I'm gonna do in this video is break down the easiest, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it so that you can reach your goals. So what a lot of people talk about in the spiritual world, in the manifestation world, is that you have to live in the end and live in your desire. So for example, say you are currently making $1,000 a month, right? But you want to be a millionaire. So you're supposed to be living in the end as if you were already a millionaire. Now, that doesn't really make any sense to me because how are you supposed to live like a millionaire if you're bringing in a thousand dollars a month? How are you supposed to be, you know, if you're a millionaire, right? And you walk by and you see a $500 handbag that you want. The way other people explain it is that, okay, well you should buy that handbag because you would if you were the millionaire. But in your current reality, that could ultimately hurt you and create more resistance towards believing that you can achieve that millionaire status. So what you should do to combat those resistant thoughts and opposing thoughts is manifest in steps. It's gonna do a few things. It's going to make it easier to attain. It's going to give you practice. It's going to allow you to take it step by step so that ultimately you can get to whatever that goal is, whether it's a successful business or having money, or having the perfect romantic relationship, or maybe a fixed relationship with, your, with a parent or a sibling, or literally anything. Because a key part in consciously, and I say consciously because again, we're always manifesting, our mind is always working towards our belief systems and our thought patterns. So the key here is believability. So how are you supposed to believe that you're going to be a millionaire if you can't even make $2,000 a month instead of $1,000 a month? Does that make sense? And that way, you're not able to really feel into being a millionaire because it seems so far away and so distant. There are so many steps to get to that end manifestation or goal or whatever you have in mind that a lot of times it can feel unachievable, which creates more resistance in your manifestation, which puts you more in a mind of lack and it solidifies your, your belief systems that are already in place. So manifestation by steps is the easiest way to do it and it will solidify everything that you're trying to get. And at the same time, it will give you more confidence along the way, knowing that you can do it. You know, you're not gonna go to bed tonight and say, oh, I'm gonna be a millionaire. I mean, it's possible, you know, you win the lottery or whatever circumstances happen. But realistically, for the most part, if you're making a thousand dollars a month, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and be a millionaire overnight. So let's talk about how to get there. So in this instance, instead of making a thousand dollars a month, you can say, well, moving forward, I'll, I'm making $1,500 a month. 
Now, does it making $1,500 a month seem more attainable for you than making over $100,000 a month? You know, you're making a $500 jump instead of a $99,000 jump, right? So what you wanna do is wake up every day and live as if you're making $1,500 a month or $2,000 a month or whatever it is that you're not doing currently in your reality, but seems a little out of reach, but also attainable. Like I know that you know, if you're making $1,000 a month, you can make $2,000 a month. And so what you do is you feel into that, what would it be like, how would my life feel different? What would change in my life if I was able to double my income and make that $2,000 a month? And once you consistently do that, you'll realize that opportunities or things will open or money will come to you in unexpected ways where you are consistently making that $2,000 a month. So then once that becomes pretty solidified in your reality, so say in this instance, give it maybe six months and you're consistently making that $2,000 a month, then maybe you're like, okay, I already know I'm making $2,000 a month. That has become my new reality. So next I want to start making $4,000 a month or $5,000 a month. And then you do the same thing, you feel into it. How would your life be different? What kind of things would you spend that money on? Would you go on a vacation? Would you buy yourself a, a, a nice handbag like we said earlier? Would you donate the money to charity? Like, What would you do with those extra few thousand dollars? And so then you feel into it and you do all of the tactics that work for you, whether it's visualization or meditation or scripting or journaling or whatever it is that works for you or that you enjoy doing to try to manifest something, do that until again, you're consistently bringing in that four or $5,000. And then once that becomes solidified, then maybe, maybe you jump to $10,000 a month and then 15 or 20 or 50 or whatever. And you just slowly work your way up. And then before you know it, I mean, it might take some time, but that's okay because what's the rush? all of a sudden you are making $100,000 a month and it seems more attainable because you did it in chunks. You did it in steps instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna all of a sudden be a millionaire, like, yeah. You know? Or say for example, maybe you want to bring in a beautiful romantic relationship in your life. Use the same type of steps. So at first, like all of a sudden you're not gonna be single, right? And all of a sudden tomorrow, wake up and be married right? I mean, I guess in a weird world that would be possible, but you want to take it in steps. So maybe the way you do that is say, I have the perfect guy or girl out there for me and they are reaching out to me every single day. And you keep affirming that and you keep recreating that scenario in your head. What would it feel like if you had this wonderful person texting you or calling you or showing up at your door every day? How would you live? How would you feel? How would you be in that moment? And when you start to feel really good, eventually that's going to come into your life and you will have that. And then next, maybe you'll say, hey, this same person is asking me to go on one date or two dates a week. And then you constantly live in the same thing. How would that feel? What would I be thinking? What would I be doing? And then eventually that's going to come in. And then maybe you're at the step where, hey, I really wanna be in a committed relationship with this person. So then how would that feel if you're in a committed relationship? And then you go on to, if you want to, you know, getting engaged and getting, in mar getting married and then possibly having kids. And you just work your way up through your manifestations, through these steps. And that is going to make it so, so much easier for you guys to obtain the things that you actually want in your life without feeling like it's unreachable, unattainable, and unrealistic. So I hope that gave you guys a little bit of insight of how to start working through these manifestations and giving you a step-by-step -step process. If you have any questions about something that you're specifically wanting to manifest and you don't understand how to do that in steps, please let me know in the comments below and we'll work through it together. I love you guys so much. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so, so much. You are so deserving of everything you want in life, do not settle because life is supposed to be beautiful and grand and you are able to get all the things that you want as long as you're able to believe it and know that you're worth that desire. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.